Well, welcome back to Intel Extreme Masters 2013, season eight here, live from New York City. Fantastic to be back here. And uh, apologies, I didn't actually know that was coming. So uh, yeah, I kind of threw you off with that. But we are now back, ready to rock and rumble again in Group C. But before we get there, let's just check back with the results in Group B via the bracket. And you can see on your screen, the winner of the place in the quarterfinal was Hero, having beaten Naniwa. Unfortunately, Naniwa now drops to the lower bracket and we'll have another chance to place in the second place position in Group B and still make it through to the quarterfinals tomorrow. Okay, time for our first game of Group C now as we switch attention to the bottom half of the round of 16. And this one is a very big one. Ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna get the chance to shout and scream for a hometown hero that's right, we've got an American in the round of 16, and he goes head to head with a bit of a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, State and Flash! The signs keep coming, by the way. There's a fantastic sign at the front of the stage. I used to be an atheist, but then I found Flash. Oh, yeah. Very excited to see how State gets on in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to our commentary team for Flash versus State. Thanks very much, Paul. Welcome to the cast's desk, as we now have a very interesting match on our hands. We have hometown hero, uh, well, home country hero, in the form of State going up against Flash. And I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with Flash. I, every single time, Kolaris, <laughs> I'm in love when I get to cast players such as Flash. Mm. Jadong, Innovation, you name it. Flash has won 10 major StarCraft tournaments. Not StarCraft 2, but StarCraft tournaments. He was regarded as the best player ever in StarCraft. But here today, he's not quite that man. I am hoping very deep down that one day I can watch Flash win a StarCraft 2 tournament. Mm. Can that be at this event? Flash traveled here for one reason, it's not WCS. He's not in the running to make it to BlizzCon, unfortunately, because of his World Championship Series run in Korea. It wasn't good enough. He went to DreamHack Bucharest, wasn't good enough. And he's come to another international tournament. He wants to win something in StarCraft II. Oh, yeah. Can it be at this tournament? I don't know. But of course, States here stands face to face with a legend. I don't know many people that know StarCraft that don't know who Flash is. Yep, he's a pretty how much the household name here. Uh, and as you rightly put, he is here for gold. But there is a long road ahead of him. First yep. state, but then it ramps up even further. You've got some yeah. very, very strong competitors here already. Hyun doing so well, Hero doing so well, uh, Curious, and we have mm -hmm. SOS even here as well. Some crazy, crazy names. Can Flash even make it out of his group is my big question. I think, he's a, I think he's a favorite, obviously, against State here. But there's Curious, there's Dong Regu in his group. We've seen Flash have weakness against Zerg players, weakness to all ins. That's something we'll have to follow when we get into the next map, if he even makes it to the winner's match here on mm. stage. But now, it's time to determine the three maps that State and Flash will play on. Belshire Vestige, pretty much the normal map that we end up going to first in a lot of these best of threes. Then Whirlwind, and finally Yonsu as our final map. So I don't mind this for, uh, for State here. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be all right for him going on to Belshire Vestige as the first map, and you know with that we've seen a lot of Flash uh, we've seen a lot of Flash doing a lot of SCV pulls and stuff yep. in the mid game to try and break their opponents. Now does State realize that that might be coming and just try and do something very aggressive for early on? What what's he gonna really bring here? I really don't think. Uh, by the way, I hope you're watching what Flash is doing here. I don't think that State's going to come into this series as a reactionary player. I really think he's going to come into this with a certain strategy for all three maps. Maybe super defensive, then maybe all of a sudden he goes for some kind of two-base attack. But all right, now it's time. You know, he's got his ruler, Kolaris. He's got his duct tape to make sure his wrist or something doesn't get indented mm. by the table. But that is Flash. KT, KT Rolster's Flash. Absolutely methodical about the present preparation here for how he's going to play this out. And 
again, there's a lot of people, guys, that know about this man. He is the quintessential StarCraft 1 player. When you think about StarCraft 1, you think about Flash. But as you rightly pointed out, he hasn't attained those heights here in StarCraft 2. Could this yeah. be his tournament? We're about to find out, right? Because this is where it begins. He's been placed into the top 16 already, but can he make it out? On the other hand, State played in the Premier League in WCS America in Season 1. Unfortunately, fell short in the Round 32. Played in Challenger Season 2. Played in Challenger Season 3. As a Challenger League competitor against a Premier League one, mm. it's already a big difference in scale. Root Gaming versus KT Roster, big difference. Big, big difference. And well, Flash here representing Terran. And he's he's one of those Terrans that can set trends if you give him that momentum in, yeah. in a game. And you know, we're all expecting eventually Flash to really gain those heights here in StarCraft. But it's like it's it's a question of when is he gonna get there? Is it gonna yeah. be today? Is it gonna be next year? He's he's always been that very, very strong competitor, uh, but at the same time going into this group, I, I have to agree. I think there could be a bit of trouble with people like Curious and Dom Reku in there. They are super, super if, scary opponents. If Flash was to lose this game, he would fall down to play against Ooh. the loser of Dom Reku and Curious. That in itself is going to be difficult. But maybe there's something. Maybe there's something we don't know. Why is Flash here? You know, it's not for WCS points. He's a very rich individual, Kolaris. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's for the money, <laughs> but I really think it's to win the tournament. If he wasn't comfortable in playing, why would he come here? We'll have to find out. That's a massive scar, by the way, on his right elbow. Wow. I wonder what happened. I think, if I remember correctly, it was surgery because he had wrist, like, a, a, oh, an arm problem yeah. when he was playing Brood War. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's what it was. But here we have State with a massive task. Is Unfortunately, landed in one of the most difficult groups there yeah. is. I'm, I mean, every single group here at the Intel Extreme Masters is difficult. But Flash, Curious, Dong Ray Gu? I would, I would peg this as kind of group of death territory for, for that kind of... For uh, him. For this, yeah, oh yeah, yes. for State, man. He's got to pull out the best performances, the best string of performances he has ever played in his StarCraft career, without a shadow of a doubt. Going up against a player like Don Regu, who so handily dispatched everyone that he played against yesterday, and just making sure everything is completely right here. Everything has to be precise for Flash. Everything, as he throws his rule to the side, and that is remarkable. Look at it, it's angled. It's not straight, yeah. it's angled. That's how he likes to play. I think there was actually a diagram of someone who, who took the entire setup and actually made like a little paint picture of how yep. he angles it and stuff. But it's always exactly like this. He wants to be in the prime uh, position to just play the game out as comfortably as possible. And, well, again, going back to State, you know, when he goes into that group, you have Don Regu, who dispatched everyone so easily yesterday. You have Curious, who played the Korean qualifiers mm. and was able to be innovation uh, innovation, <laughs> yeah. and then you have obviously Flash here, who is a pretty good Terran. So Dude, a pretty good Terran. <laughs> oh, like in Brood War, his win rate over five, six, seven hundred games was seventy-two percent. It's crazy. Seventy-two percent in StarCraft is unbelievably good. That's domination. That was who he was, and then just that's you know, in the past. But StarCraft 2 is a new game, and I know I keep talking about who Flash was because that really is his history. Mm. But coming to StarCraft 2, Kolaris, he has not done nowhere near close. Nowhere near close. No, no, no. Really, really, in comparison, poor results for who he is. When are we going to see those results? His best result was a final. He did get to the final of the MLG Winter Championships earlier this year. But it, when it comes to WCS, round of 16, round of 16, Round of 16, three seasons in a row. Dreamhack Bucharest, round of 32. If he was to fall short here today in the round of 16, it's just subpar results for a player of his caliber. Yeah. And he has fallen to uh, foreigner hopes in the past. Even as recent as Dream, uh, Dreamhack, where we saw uh, Jamaga actually dispatch of him pretty nicely. Yeah. So uh, State has a chance. He has a hope. Absolutely. But I still feel that it has to come in the earlier stages here against a player like Flash who can dominate that mid-game pretty heavily. Well, I am very excited for this as Flash has just typed in, go, I am ready, inside the chat. And we are just now waiting on State 
as he says he is also ready after fixing a sound problem but we will get in to the first game oh. here of group c in the intellect stream masters here live from new york city at comic con and this should be a good one it certainly will be as we have one of the legends of starcraft one going up against the underdog here but the u.s representative in the form of root state also sponsored by Gamefront as well. So guys, without further ado, let's get into game number one here as Flash and State face off on Belshia Vestige for this first best of three. Look at that killer face from Flash. He's ready, man. He's ready. He is ready. You are right. Okay, spawning up to the top left-hand corner, representing USA and Root Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for State. And then we have our second player spawning down in the bottom right-hand corner, our Blue Terran representing KT Rolster as well as Korea. Give it up for Flash! Oh. Worldwide fans. Since forever, Clarice, forever. But can he really reward his fans for being so loyal, for following him for so long? I remember staying up at stupid o'clock to watch stupid Brood War Finals with Flash playing and He's here now playing StarCraft 2 without big results. Can this be his tournament? This is the first step to it. It's his first game here in New York City. Let's see how it's going to shape up. And would one, one would wonder if he didn't get start getting these results, what's, what's going on with Flash, right? I mean, he was such a monster in StarCraft 1, trying to get to grips with StarCraft 2, really needs mm. to put out those results. He's just... Yeah. Uh, right now in StarCraft 2, kind of a shadow of his former self. It's, it's yeah. a brutal thing to say, well, but... Do you know what I'm hoping for? Mm. For Flash to get into his stride towards the end of this year, hit 2014 hard, and then BlizzCon next year in the WCS, we oh. see a Flash versus Jadong Finals. Oh. That's what I want to see, Kolaris. <laughs> That's magic. But of course, we're looking many, many, many months ahead of <laughs> ourselves here, as we do have just this first game between these two players. Flash has opened up for a Reaper expand here, so he's got 12 barracks, 12 gas, and is going to go for a scouting build here, maybe able to get a probe or two if he's a little bit lucky. Mm. I'm not surprised by the Reaper opening, you know, he just wants to see what his opponent's up to, as well as, you know, keep him on his toes, and it's a, it's a good use of it. Keeping the Reaper alive, super important, yeah. oh, absolutely critical. Keeping it alive and then just being able to jump in later on, see what State's up to maybe then. Uh, very, very nice if he gets it done this flash. All right, well, what does State have planned to tackle such a player? Such a name, we should really say, in StarCraft 2. But State, a single gas here. He does have a Zealot being built as the SUV does track that Probu. Obviously, he's looking towards getting that expansion down. And there we have that command center on the way for Flash. So exactly the same time the Nexus and command center do start. There's no block there uh, option for Flash. Uh, and even if he wanted to go for an engineering bay block, obviously he doesn't really have the minerals initially there to get it working anyway. Yeah. So Mothership caught on the way as well. And this is going to keep State pretty well protected against anything that comes along, but the Reaper's going to be an annoyance. Yeah, the Reaper's going to go in here. He's going to look for the gases. He may have just seen that second assimilator. He does just now see it. So he knows his opponent's gone very simply. One gate expansion. The Mothership Core to push the Reaper back and take in a second gas. Now with a second gas, Flash knows that there's going to be a tech choice soon. Unless we see Sentry production really early on, which is a massive investment for your gas, yeah. very uncommon here. You don't need Sentries early on. <laughs> you've got the Mothership Core, you've got your Stalker, you're fine. You don't need any force fields being built up. You don't need to be able to go towards um, a Hallucinate Phoenix to scout out. So the most likelihood is for the tech structure to come down. The robotics facility is the choice, the most standard tech choice for State to choose from. Not too bad. He's just going to play this out a little bit longer. Uh, and I like that from State, uh, just to kind of gauge what he's going to be going up against against Flash here in game number one. But again, Belshire Vestige is, is prime territory for Flash to yeah. go for SCV pulls later on and just make everything work out in the mid-game. Now, State, does he change up? Does he just go for the extra gateways? We're going to see the Forge come down here. There we go. There's the Forge. Yeah, just a regular play from State. Looking at Flash, though, he actually took uh, two gases rather fast in this game and has a very fast factory. Very fast. 5.45 coming in here. And uh, obviously, with a, with a very fast factory, this is a build that we see has changed a lot recently in uh, Terran vs. Boros, where it used to be more common to see three barracks come in. But this is a faster factory here coming for Flash. Going to be able to get up to that starport nice and early on. 
will help him out when he wants to go for maybe drop pressure. Uh, if State, especially if State were to have taken like a really quick third or something like that, though, we see Naniwa do against a uh, hack previously. Uh, it's prime opportunities for him to actually go for drops, but there goes the Reaper. Sees the Robo and the Forge, but not too much else. Yeah, it just kind of confirms that we've seen the Forge early on. He knows it's not faster gateways coming in. Yeah. Or maybe not a super fast robotic space. So seeing the Forge is almost like a comfort scout. You're like, all right, well, he's kind of playing normal. As to be expected, getting his plus one armor down here is State. And so far, he's approaching this series against Flash in a very normal way. His tech choice follow-up from this, instead of the robotics facility, is the Twilight Council here. He's going to be aiming towards the Templar Archives. He's going to play a high Templar style against Flash rather than the more traditional Colossus play that we see so often. And I, quite like, I like this from State. I, I like the, the kind of more uh, quick high Templars for Storm to eventually try and deal with what Terrans throw at you in the mid game, which is oftentimes that SCV pull. But you still have to be very, very careful yeah. about it. Generally, we would see uh, Flash, we already saw Hack, utilizing that three ghost timing with the SCV pull. Uh, and that can leave you in a lot of, lot of trouble if those EMPs actually do land. Well, the first couple of medivacs are already on the way, and it has been spotted here by State. So State's going to now tuck tight on his two bases. Will not want to obviously expand too fast here. He knows that pressure's coming soon. His flash is gearing up to really, really ramp up the heat a little bit here against State. Warp Prism. It's an interesting choice from State. With a Warp Prism, what he's looking to do here is as he's defensive on two bases, if he can get the Warp Prism to flash his main base and start warping in units while defending it at home, Flash will be out of, out of position. He'll have his units aggressively, yeah. not back uh, defending his main. And State has a great setup in terms of where his observers are placed, uh, as he's right underneath. Uh, his entire army is right underneath one of them so far. State pulls that back, realizing there may be the potential of a scan. Maybe he's waiting here for that. Uh, but at the same time, sending that one Widow Mine over to the left-hand side. But it's seen by an observer. He could bring one back pretty quickly if he wanted to. A lot of gateways in production here as well for State. State hasn't reacted to that med medivac now. Uh. He's a little bit slow. Could oh. lose something here. That Widowmine does end up burrowing. Leaves two uh, probes there for the kill. And, and just on the natural. Uh-oh, that's a lot of damage that's being done. He's trying to focus down that sentry. Does end up killing that off. Where's no Guardian Shield for oh, him. Oh, the other Photon Overcharge was a little bit late there. Okay, how much did he lose during all of that? So just a little bit there lost. Two sentries and three zealots, man. Ah, uh, those two sentries is big. That's quite a lot of losses there. Yeah. He's obviously going to have to replenish them. He needs some force fills. Two sentries get warped in, but that's obviously not high tempo, and he has no splash damage at this moment. Exactly. Losing that uh, gas investment is a bit of a big deal. That warp prism's over the other side, but at the same time, will he be able to even use it as this pressure continues on? Fortune Overcharge will dissipate from this location yeah. pretty soon. At least Zealot Charge is finished, but he lost uh, the majority of his Zealots there. Mm. And he is trying to counterattack with the... Armor finishing as well. Well, I mean, it's on the way at least. If that finishes, that's a really, really strong position here for State. And oh, big, big drop into the main, nope. but it's not going to happen. State's doing okay Ooh. here. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's dealt with Flash's pressure. 
the fact that Storm's out alone is such a massive, massive step forwards here for State in a game that I didn't even expect him to get Storm out, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going over to Blink now, and the robotic space switch up is coming in where he's going to look to get to Corsus. Now he's got his third down, but Flash is setting up a very powerful move here. He has three medivacs loaded to get into the main base, but he also has units to pull his opponent to the third. Can this work for him? State should see the medivacs on the left-hand side. He knows that Flash is on the right. If he defends successfully in two positions... Oh, and he has feedbacks there as well. He tries to go into the third base, puts on some pressure, but that does get pushed back at the natural as well. Well, Flash killed... I mean, uh, State killed one of the medivacs yeah. on the left-hand side. So he got it's it with only the now two. It's only two. He tried to get a second one as well, but it was just barely high enough. And State has pushed Flash away from the third base. But now the ghosts are coming in. But those are the first couple of ghosts we've seen. But State's already now preparing to go to Colossus. Flash now added on extra barracks as well. And if State's now... And if we look at kind of the, the, the resources lost, really hasn't taken much damage in this game. Yeah, State is sure, done really he, well. You know, lost a couple of centuries early on. Maybe it was getting a bit rocky at the start. But overall, he hasn't taken that much damage. Warp Prism again gets found it's by a high Templar Viking. in it. Does it? Ooh. Well, he could drop some storms on this army. Uh, sorry, on these SCVs. Uh, but throws down a few uh, EM, uh, feedbacks on the ghosts. We'll kill off one or two of those if the zealots can get to them. And there, does kill off those two ghosts. So that's actually not too bad a trade, killing off some ghosts here. What we should be seeing now is extra gateways come in for State. He's got full saturation across three bases. He's currently only at seven gateways, and he's obviously going to be looking to improve that and improve his army value. Because once he get, he's got everything he needs, he's got High Temple, he's got Colossus now, but he doesn't have a mass amount of units. But that's exactly where he's going to. And he's going to be in a position where he's going to take some big army supply fights against Flash, who currently only two Vikings, five Ghosts, two to is on its way. I'm liking State's position, man. I am liking State's position. If he can get the right amount of Colossi out and just get the right uh, unit composition up, he could take a very, very strong fight here. He's trying to push him away in the middle of the map. Any medivacs oh, has to blink out of there. Doesn't want to take any losses on those stalkers because he needs those for the Vikings once yeah. they come along. And look at this. State's got so many pylons wow. around to counterattack from. He is in a decent position now. It is very close, though. Yeah. For anybody that doesn't really understand StarCraft, it is a very close game, I'd say, at this moment. Both very similar in supply, similar in upgrades. It's 2-2 for Flash, just about and it's plus three armor and plus one attack here for State. Little Marine's gonna to patrol around, try and find some of those pylons to reinforce from. It's important to find those pylons for the Terran just so they can shut down Zealot harassment later on. He does get a medevac, not too bad there. Even if he gets, oh, and drops the scan and kills off an observer. Any medevacs he gets with those stalkers means that once he has to replenish, then it's slower to replenish Vikings. Once he gets more Colossi out, that makes it a little bit more difficult uh, as there is only so much a support can produce at any time. It's really going to come down to the fights here. Who, you know, engages correctly. There's only two Vikings with that army, which is a little bit scary against two Colossus. Need a few more than that. He's only got five out on the field right now. Yes, he's getting another two out, but they're all somewhere oh, else. They're now State's going to fight here. He's cool. actually going to fight. He's got the counterattack going on. He's got Flash distracted. He's going to come in from a couple of sides here. This could be quite well. Go, go, go. Well for him. I mean, that's a lot of Zealots that can tank a lot of damage. Whilst those Colossi do some damage as well. And he's forcing them to retreat. And that the Vikings so are gone. The Vikings are gone. That's a good fight for State there. Keeps up a higher supply than Flash. He's got his fourth Nexus, or at least can rebuild it. And that harassment over on the left-hand side did a little bit. It did kill off some workers in the end. State has killed 14 workers off with those storms as well as and Zealots. And the two Colossus still survive. Uh -oh. He lost all the Vikings. There's still two Colossus. State is in a position where I'd like to say a lead at this point yeah. against Flash, who has three Vikings. Not a lot now. He's loaded up a couple of units to go for an attack. If, th if Flash could get 3-3 three, three out, then that might be able to even things up a little bit if he comes in from a good angle. But uh, he needs to make sure that he keeps these units alive. Drops one of the Marauders. And now those Medivacs are not going to be anywhere near as useful in keeping those army alive if he wants to go for the harassment. And at this point, State is going to start banking a lot of money. He's at 200 supply. I think he would have walked in a couple of units to defend from those two Medivacs inside his main base, I'd imagine, with that last little bit of supply he had. But apart from that, he's in a really good shape. As long as he lands his storms, doesn't walk into any EMPs. That's like maxed out now, slowly accruing a bank as well. Yeah. This is a really good position for State, especially if he comes in from two angles at the right time. It's so important that he comes in uh, and converges on that one location at the right time if he wants to go for that. All right, well, it looks like in the middle of the map, 
State's going to pick up a couple of units here, just blink backwards and allow the Zealots to get forwards. Those units, uh, not long for this world, unfortunately. A few Marauders no. do end up dying off, and he's actually right. mixing the Dark Shrine as well. Both armies heading towards the east. Flash oh. moving forward. State already anticipating that move is also moving his army. Are we going to see an engagement here? that I would say may go in State's favor. We certainly could do. It's 3-2 upgrades against 3-3. Three, three. It's just about to finish for Flash. So the upgrades advantage for Flash isn't really that big considering that there's a lot of splash damage still here for State. All right, a Storm landed on the army, getting a couple of kills and lowering the health, lowering the medivac energy. This is going to be so close. Like, actually, State, you know, uh -oh. he's in a very uh -oh. good spot. I think it may be now. I think it may be now. Time, Time warp's warps. activated. He blinks forwards here, trying to catch whatever he can with those Stalkers, running down a few of these Marines. Oh. Throws that full shield. Ah, uh, doesn't want to go into that choke. That heavy Azella army does not want to be choked up in that small bottleneck. Uh, that Those force fields weren't that great there. No, they really weren't. Has to blink back as well, trying to kill off some of these Vikings and trying to keep his Colossus count high. He still has two Colossi out which are with this army, he has to be careful about this. State needs to use that bank, reinforce the right-hand side and take the flash, take the fight to flash, excuse me. And he is going to take a fight to flash as those zealots charge in. A lot of EMPs hit those zealots though. They are going to disintegrate very, very rapidly. But at the same time, they've done a lot of damage during all of this. Flash trying to reinforce behind this, got a lot of units in production, but the zealots continue to power on forwards. And behind that, there's, uh, the, there's no Colossi doing the AOE, so Flash will win out this army. Yeah, Flash wins the fight here against his opponent. And he also has a couple of units on the natural, that's going to be dealt with. But I can't help but say State did not start that fight well. No. He walked down uh -huh. there, there was force fields, he ran back, he got EMP'd. With a good fight, that could have been a different story. DTs are trying to keep State alive because of that bad fight. But Flash sees it, Flash scans. And, I, and like, like I said, I can't help but feel that Flash was given some help in this game. Oh yeah, that... State had a great army, but didn't utilize it properly. You're right, with how completely choked up he was in that one location. And Flash, you know, he's, he's a fantastic player. He exploits it to the best of his ability as he takes out that base over to the right-hand side. Dark Templar is going to try and do some harassment behind all of this, but State now has so much catching up to do in his army supply. He's down yeah. by 70. He's lost a fourth Nexus. It's now four bases versus three. Flash has a higher supply. He has extra production coming in with that starport. He has his upgrades for the Vikings. Flash is in dominant position right now. And it was all down to that fight. It was always going to be down to that fight on who won it and who had the better engagement. And it was very simply, I don't think we can call it Flash's better engagement. It was State who I, I think messed up there. It was a bumble. It was a bungle. And uh, unfortunately for him now, with Flash setting up that fourth base in an aggressive position as well with that planetary fortress, this allows Flash to have a strong economy whilst also still pressuring his opponents for very, very easily. Uh, State still going to have to buy a lot of time. Still has to send units around the sides maybe to try and keep his opponent back. But Flash knows that. Flash knows yeah. that once he maxes out, he's going to have such a strong position. And Flash is going to come for the win very, very soon here. He realizes the position he's in, as you say, is building a very good army. He's got 10 Vikings, 10 Ghosts, good balance between those two crucial ingredients in defeating the Protoss army. Then backed up by good upgrades and a bunch of ground units supporting them. Flash is now marching forward here, and I think this may be the time that he goes for the win. That's a very small army. He scans, he sees it, he knows what he's got to do. Make sure the Vikings get onto those Colossus, stop the High Templars. Whoa. Storms can do anything though, that whoa, just clips the edge of that army. He still has a few Storms available to him. Will the EMPs end up landing though, is the big question. As he moves back just a little bit, has to keep himself very, very defended here, trying to kill off some of the Vikings. Let's get a few volleys. Yeah. Oh, but those EMPs hit a lot of those High Templars. Has very few storms left here. But there may to be many units here, Kolaris. Yeah, I think so. That bio is just powering through. The Archon's trying to hold him on strong, but at the same time, I actually don't think he has an Observer there. So the Ghosts that were cloaked were doing quite a lot without him being able to even see that. Only Stalkers left. There's Marauders and Marines on the natural. I think a very good effort here from State, but he's starting to die off as Flash is waypointing units across here. Uh, an aggressive blink forward, but with the amount of Ghost Cloak, no Observers. DT is actually trying to deal with this. The scan does come in here. Flash is dropping in supply. It is 88 to 30, 130 that is. But I think the difference is uh, maybe the income here. Yeah, it's with that fourth base just flourishing yeah. down there for Flash as well and just reinforcing to this location. Stalkers are not going to hold this off for very much longer. EMP and yeah, yeah, Dark Templar, even one of his ghosts as well drawing all of that, but it doesn't matter. GG for game number one. Flash will take the first one, but State, man, there was opportunities for him, very strong opportunities.
I think in a perfect world, he would have won that game there yeah. if he hadn't have made the mistake of that fight. But a good effort from State, showing that, no, this is not going to be as easy as everyone's thinking it. And I'm sure he knows that, you know, maybe if he hadn't have taken the fight, used his money to add, uh, add extra gateways, just get ready for a big fight with a good Remax, and there's a potential win there. But unfortunately in StarCraft, mistakes happen, and Flash takes map number one. But we have to say it again. I think that that played out, if that was played out, you know, 100 times in a row, State would probably win 90 times. He, that was his game, I feel. Yeah. Uh, any engagement position other than that one, I feel, uh, would have been a whole lot better for him, a whole lot better. Uh, but being that Zealot Heavy, you have to be careful about getting choked up. And he, in, in theory, choked up himself with those two force fields. Just was not the best of positions. But now going on to game number two, Whirlwind. If he does go for a similar style, the middle of the map is very open. Now, depending on where Flash decides to also harass and how well he's going to do that, if he goes for an SCV pull, uh, all of these things are debatable. But if there is that later game situation here where he gets that kind of army, State could take... Yeah. A big position. I mean, look at that there. Just by his reaction, I think it summarizes that game perfectly. He knew that he was in such a good spot. Exactly. Against Flash. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for, for a Protoss player, uh, an American Protoss player, that I know that he, you know, obviously everybody in StarCraft idolizes players like Flash, like Jadong, like Innovation. To be able to be in a winning position in the first map, to then have it slip away, you cannot help but feel a little bit disappointed in there. But in this position you find yourself in, you have to be positive. A shake of the head there kind of confirms it once again. Have to be positive. Look at the good things. You were in that position in the first exactly. place. Exactly. Now do it again. I think the determination runs strong here in State after game number one. He knows that he can get to that position. Can he do it again here in game number two? As we have spawning up to the top right hand corner, representing the US of A as well as Root Gaming. Give it up for State. And down to the bottom left hand corner, we have our blue Terran. Representing KT Rolster as well as Korea. Give it up for Flash. All right, so Will Wind here, the second map between these two players, a big, big four-player map. Kind of focuses very heavily, in the early game that is, on economy. So I wouldn't be surprised maybe if Flash changed his build from the Reaper Expand into Command Center first. Mm. Maybe we even see State try to grab a faster Nexus than normal. It's a big map. It's very difficult to go very aggressive early, simply because you don't know where your opponent is. It, it, it's blind. You, you, there's four positions or three positions where they could be. It's difficult to pull off, which is why so many a time we just see Command Center first or a gateway into a faster Nexus. Yeah, and we've seen Command Center first a lot from Flashman. And unbeknownst to them, it being cross spawns now, uh, this makes that sort of opener from Flash all the more solid here. Uh, against State, who is going for Gateway and Gas. Now, there is still opportunities here for State to go for a quick Nexus if he were to see what his opponent was up to, but he's not going to see that anytime soon. So yeah. uh, he's playing a little bit more of a safer build here. Yeah, we'll see. Or it could be an aggressive one, depending on if he takes a second Gas, if he decides that this is a map that a lot of Terran players do go Command Center first on, if he tries a Stargate play, maybe an Oracle could be very good to get into the SCV line. Something along those lines could be nice, but we'll see what State chooses. He hasn't rushed out, as you say, the Nexus, which definitely, if a Protoss player wanted to grab that earlier Nexus, would have come down already. Yeah. And, well, if, if we see a star pot from State, that could work out nicely against an opponent that is likely to open Command Center first on this map. Uh, it does take a while for him to get over there, though. So if we would throw it on that left-hand side pylon, uh, it is quite a way away. But, and Flash with the two barracks, he obviously knows he needs the Marine count quickly, as quickly as possible, so that he can deter something like that. Yeah, I mean, these, these two builds, very normal for the situation, I suppose. Flash going for the build we expected him to go for. Whereas State, on the other hand, um, cancelled his Zealot, didn't get the Mothership Core, but has pretty much gone for the same build as he did previous, despite knowing that Flash could change it up and get a bigger lead yeah. in the early game compared to the opening that he used previously. So if we compare game one to game two, State has done the same. Flash has got a better edge when it comes to his economy because of the earlier command center. Well, he's uh, trying to scout out where his opponent is right now and uh, unfortunately does not spot down to the bottom right, but will spot him second. 
Uh, and actually, he's even sent out a second SCV here as Flash. So he's really adamant about seeing his opponent very quickly. And that's, I wasn't expecting a second SCV actually to come out here. Yeah, uh, that, that is surprising here. But of course, Flash, with the build that he's chosen, is weak to some builds. Mm. <clears throat> so he has to spot it, right? He has to know what's going on as quickly as possible. Uh, Robo facility will go down for state, so it's looking very normal again here for him. And uh, this SCV is going to get full confirmation of actually a lot here. That Stalker pops out, but he sees the Robo as well. It's perfect scout. Yeah. He gets the Nexus, gets the robotics facility, sees exactly the same opening as before. The other SUV is just going to go home now. The job is done. Oh, yeah. And Flash knows that this is a regular setup here. So the branches that State can go down from this position and what Flash will be thinking of, does he now go for a robotics bay type of two base all in, considering he hasn't even attempted to scout? A lot of Protoss players don't scout at all. And that sometimes can tell you that they just want to go for a two base play. They don't care what you're doing. This is their build. This is their strategy. So Flash has decided to build a Reaper to try to figure out what this is. What's the follow-up? And it's cheaper than a scan sometimes. Well, it is, oh, depending yeah. on if the Reaper gets <laughs> in or not, right? Yeah, and it can be actually hard on Whirlwind to get in. So that has its uh, weaknesses and strengths, obviously, here. Engineering Bay does uh, go down here for Flash as well, just to get that plus one going, as well as the factory on the way, so you can get up to that starport. And it's always very important. You don't want to leave your starport. It's rare that you would see that nowadays, but it's, you don't want to leave your starport uh, too late against a Protoss, because they have the opportunity yeah. to go for that Robo Bay, because there is that threat of Colossi. Yeah, State's so blind in this game. But here's the Reaper, just hovering outside his opponent's base. Sees no unit movement, <laughs> sees the Mothership Core. Unbeknownst to him, the Stalkers were waiting for him at the top of the round, but they're just going to come down and try and deal with that oh, anyway. Oh, nice move by State. He's going to get that. Bye-bye, Reaper. Nice move. Nicely done. All right, that denies a little bit of vision there for Flash at the very front of things. Uh, could have saved that Reaper. Could have quite easily saved that Reaper if he was keeping an eye on it. Uh, but and now has to send a Marine out to do the job of that Reaper to keep an eye on the front. Yeah, Flash thinks there's an attack coming now. The Stalkers moved out like that. Then the, the probe came for some weird angle. He's building two bunkers. He's not sure what's going on at all in this game. Yeah, he's, he has to be cautious, right? He has to be absolutely careful. I mean, uh, State could quite easily have thrown something at him aggressive if yeah. he wanted to. I mean, Flash is scouting up to the top right-hand side of his natural area. He's gone to the third. He's looking for a pylon, looking for a probe. He doesn't know what's going on. Very important here for him, but at the same time, it is denying him, you know, just taking extra steps forward. So those two bunkers that went down, that's, you know, quite a big investment. Yes, you can salvage them eventually, but it's the opportunity cost that comes into effect there that could have been, you know, yeah. more units, more, more of anything, really. I do like that State's approaching this game and saying, all right, yeah, I messed up in game number one, but I'm going to do exactly the same in game number two, and hopefully I don't make that same mistake. Mm. And he has gone for everything exactly the same. The Zealot Charge, the second armor upgrade, the Warp Prism at the same time as well. This is his build, and this is where he believes that he can beat Flash. Well, the Warp Prism does certainly serve a very strong purpose if he's able to get in there. He does notice with this Observer, which is very well placed, the salvaging of the bunkers, knowing that, well, and as well as seeing the movement out of the Medivacs, knowing his opponent now has the opportunity to start dropping around those uh, different locations. But he already has good old Observer placement once again to try and spot that. He has four Observers on the map. He has a lot of vision. And is he going to use that vision correctly, though? Because mm. this is now coming in. Does he take damage or not? Third command center is thrown down by Flash. He's got his double engineering bay this time. He's playing a bit of a stricter game and a better game, I'd like to say, when it comes to his build. Marines runs up past the sentries, sees the stalkers that are in a position where drops are going to be difficult to achieve. He's going to try and drop that Marine in, see what's going on. Yeah. And. Uh, We'll be able to see quite a lot. Sees exactly the same. The Ghost Academy should be the first thing now that Flash throws down here. And immediately actually throws down that with extra bags. He knows what he's playing against here. And to be honest, I think Flash now, the game is delay third Nexus for as long as possible. Don't I don't think drops are going to be too good here because the Stalkers, there's, there's maybe feedbacks. Delay the third as much as possible, build up towards Ghost, and then try to hit a good timing before Colossus can come out. That should be the game plan of Flash. Wow, the Chrono Boost on those gateways, as well as uh, Storm as well. I can understand the Chrono Boost on Storm, but uh, gateways just to get some extra units out. I guess he may want to warp in something down to that bottom uh, position there. Uh, as he's warped in a high Templar already, 
in, put it in that warp prism. Now, there has been a Viking all game long on patrol down there. So when yeah. that wants to go in, it will be spotted, but the High Templar and, can drop. And Flash has made an adaption to his play. He's got Marines there, right behind his Vikings. Uh, oh, that's that's going to be impossible to so get into. So if, the, if, if this warp prism tries to get in there, it's not going to be very successful. It's an expensive one as well because there is the High Templar. But Flash now knows his opponent's taken a third base. So I think that, I mean, right now, Flash is just sitting in the map. Oh, here we go. Prison. Uh oh, this could be very bad for State. The Viking actually just moved right out of location. Does, how's at the Flash's time. reactions, though? How's Flash's reactions? And, well, the Viking's going to continually pursue. There's no Marines at the third base, so he can drop here and try and go for the Storm if he wants to and gets it. The Zealot's going to try and charge down a lot of those units. He only got four, uh, one or two or three with that Storm. Oh, in the middle of the map, State just lost four Stalkers. He just uh -oh. walked into the Zelnaga Tower. Four Stalkers were picked off. Oh, there is Storm there, though, so he can retreat out. Still 110 supply to 129. Four Flash in favor of. And, well, can go back to this location as well. He's lost six workers. Not too bad, but did he lose the warp prism? No, he did not lose the warp prism. The problem is, Kolaris, is that timing I talked about where ghosts are going to be very strong against the army that State has is approaching. Oh, yeah. There are five ghosts, about to be seven. The robotics bay has only just been thrown down. The warp prism is going to be key in trying to keep flashback before the Colossus is ready. But there's a Viking up north. Look at that. He's expecting his opponent to change where the warp prism is. Uh, uh, you know, first send out its attack. It's good adaptation, but there are two war prisms. He sees one yeah. down to the bottom right. He has to maybe move his Viking down there, oh, but man. if he did, there's the, still that one up to the left. But the attack through the middle for Flash is very strong. Yes. Oh, yes. We saw him land the EMPs last game, right? Yeah. And he's got to be careful. If these, if he scans up this ramp and lands an EMP on those Templar, the game could end. It's there's the scan. Ooh. He's looking to snipe these now. He gets one shot off at the temple, doesn't die. Oh, locks in two ghosts there. That's a very nice and pick Flash up. Flash does pick up, yeah. Oh, oh feedback. Oh, oh. Very, very nice storm, reactions. Storm, Oh, he dodges it very briefly. Oh, yeah, trying to throw down the time warp there as well to slow them down. Good synergy on those uh, abilities. And nice Storm actually in the middle, trying to catch some of these ghosts as well. There's actually High Templar and Zealots everywhere. Yeah, this is a nice move here from State. Really catching a lot of units oh. there. Very low in health. He's got those two warp prisms. Very nice. Actually, on the third base, He's Whoa. doing all right for himself. He's actually shutting down a lot of the income here for Flash. Income right now is oh, 600 these supply. SCVs. That, oh, dear me. Oh, oh, oh. 24 oh. workers. 26 workers killed. That was nice. State is making this happen, man. And all of a sudden, he's got his first Colossus on the way. And now he survived the state where he, where he was in <laughs> oh, the worst yeah. position with, right? <laughs> he survived it. And now all of a sudden, if he doesn't be out too open in the map, because of course he's still weak against EMPs. Uh-oh. This could work two ways. Ooh. If there's a storm landed, yeah. and he's, he does have the Zelnaga Tower range. One High Templar moves forwards here. How many ghosts do we actually have out? Still six on the map. And the majority of those are with the army here, just moving back a little bit. I asked him so careful. He has to land these EMPs. If storms hit him, he is going to die. If storms... Ooh. Okay, he dies. Uh, <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Yes. Vikings here just kind of looking for something. Mostly the Mothership Core, which they will find. State's a little bit out of position here. Double time warps on that Mothership Core. If that died off prematurely, that would be bad. And, well, that's a lot of Zealots. He sees them with the Vikings. He sees his opponent's army movement with the Vikings, so he can prepare against this quite well from Flash. Remember, there's plus three armor here. And, oh, a scan from Flash. Sentries have to uh, make a wall here because they're obviously out of position as units. Run away, and one of the High Templars will end up dying. That had full energy. Meanwhile, there's a Lone Marine that has spotted the fourth base as well. But State, in army supply, 95 against 103. Doesn't want to lose that Mothership Core, though. Oh, it had double time warps on it. That's really important. Yeah, and these High Templars don't have a, uh, storms yet. It's two Colossus versus a few Vikings here. Flash looking for an opportunity to take a good fight. Plus one attack now just finished here for State. Does have that plus three armor as well. Flash is going to move to the high ground here. State's ready on the high ground, so Flash can't go up there. His army is very, very strong indeed. 2-2 against 3-1 yeah. uh, there. And the Zealots are actually going to try and kill off some of that. But there's, the no, th there's no warp prism. There's no pylons to counterattack from here. Yeah. It's only a direct engagement that can happen. One High Templar moves forward to try and get a uh, feedback or anything. Did he get one feedback? I don't know. I think he just landed on a, a medivac, but that's about it. All right. Well, 
Links forwards with the Stalkers to try and get into a better position, realizing oh. he has to combat the Vikings. Oh, he's in peace, could be very good. Likewise, Storm's on that ramp. Not too bad a Storm there at all, and it still has to be careful. Oh, two big EMPs on those High Templars. Really doesn't have much energy, if any energy, for Storms now. It's going to be a direct engagement. There are no Storms. There are none. There are absolutely none. He landed the EMPs he needed to, and but actually... the Vikings are getting picked off slowly. Yeah. The Colossus still survived. There's three Colossus stayed. Is doing okay. He's on the high ground. He's got a fourth command, a fourth nexus. Remember, there's no fourth command center for Flash. If he didn't which get Which is those a Vikings. big deal, by the way. Oh. Flash does not have 3-3 three, three on the way. State has plus two attack now. And he will start to, once that is done, take better cost-efficient fights. But so far, with State on the high ground, adding on cannons to protect it, we're going to see another fight here. So Flash is going to... Oh, Flash is in. Flash is not going to be able to evacuate if State comes down from the left. Yeah, that would uh, be completely oh, sandwiched this, up against this. This could be very deadly. Oh, there's only four Vikings. He needs more than that to do with these three Colossi. One of them will end up falling. The Stalkers really can't get to those Vikings as easily as all the Zillas do charge forward. Oh, a so lot of EMPs, though. The Colossus is still alive, though. The Vikings are going to get picked off here. Oh, oh some beautiful storms from State. Oh, State doing so well, pushing Flash back. And Flash, if he gets killed off here with this army, he doesn't really have a lot to back this up. He's got plus three armor on the way. He's got a few Vikings, but State pushes him back. He takes a advantage. He has his Colossi. Yeah. This is really good for State. Patient play from State. Picking off the stragglers here and he pushes his opponent back. Meanwhile, being able to establish four bases. Uh, let's have a look at his gateway count. 14. That's okay for the time being. Gunner Warp Prism out as well. This is a very good position for the American against KT Rolster's Flash. Army supply, 110 to 63 in favor of State here. And that really does give you a big, big metric as to how State is positioned in this game. If he wants to, if he gets a lot more units, he could either just try and go for a sledgehammer blow, or he could just deny his opponent's fourth base over and over. Because his third is going to be mined out very, very soon. He's going to be starved down. Well, the Warp Prism here is on that fourth, and that, as you say, will starve him if he's able to get to that SCV line. Warp Again, look, I mean, look at the supply difference between them. It's so, it's huge. It's so, so big here. State, he maxes out, and now he starts to accrue a bank. Now he can just march on forwards as well with his entire army if he wants to. He's left a few High Templars back just in case. But this is State playing patiently and methodically to make sure that yeah. he doesn't slip up. Yeah, just the, the two extra gateways going up to 16. Second Robo for double Colossus production, plus three attack. Wait till it's done. Wait till you've got full upgrades. And then he'll look to take a fight to win the game. And so far, that seems to be working for him. As it's 200 supply to 157. Flash in trouble in this game. Though not this series. He is currently leading this series. The best of three, first player to two. Flash is currently leading 1-0. But State is looking to equalize this. 13 High Templars out on the map. He has around six with him in his army. There's one in this Warp Prism over to the right-hand side near this army. Uh, but that Warp Prism does have to evacuate out of there. And uh, uh -oh. can't do anything. Uh-oh, State's going to take a very good position here. He knows where his opponent's army is. He's on the high ground. If he gets up there... I could lose just a few Zealous oh, ground, but the Planetary Fortress denies yeah. him. He doesn't want to risk it. Yeah, well, he's, he's moving around this Warp Prism. I think he could have taken a very strong position on that high ground there. But uh, right now, does not want to take any 50-50 fights. Whatever fight he takes, he has to be comfortable in it. Oh, finds a few straggling Vikings. We'll get one. That's pretty nice. He can just move back there and be happy with that because, well, it's 11 Vikings mm. still. They do have plus one weapons. Uh, and how many class side do we have? I've just three. It's it's really about the storms. And it's because uh, there's so many High Templar there. Uh, has to be careful. All right, well, State is just kind of looking forward. He's got High Templar splattered around everywhere. If you look at the High Templar spread that he has behind his main army, it's going to be very difficult for Flash to evade the storms. He's waiting for Flash to come out now. There's a fifth base on the way for State. He's got so much money in the bank. This is, again, State in a position where it's his game to lose. Yeah, it, it is. But at the same time, if you max out and Terran's maxed out as well, you can't, you don't want to sit around too much, right? Because Terran, if, if they eventually get up to a few more bases, we'll start having all the commands on, we'll sacrifice some SCVs, and then if the army, you know, gets even bigger from there, yeah. it becomes too cost efficient. They it do so much damage, especially in the middle of the map. Flash still without that plus three attack upgrade for his army. It's kind of a big deal. Mm. And just adding on a few more ghosts here. Oh, this medevac gets caught completely out of position. That's a really nice pickup there for State. Not this one there, though. Oh, and he's kind of maxed out. So he actually has to recall to deal <laughs> with that drop. He's maxed out. He can't actually warp in any more units. And we'll deal with it. 
But that opens up the middle of the map here for Flash, who is fighting off High Templar in the middle. Did get stormed a little bit there. And that's exactly what he has to be careful All about. Right. Those stalkers also blink back as well. State's actually shown some really good stalker control throughout this entire two games. He has to deal with this, though, at the back. Can warp in a few units after losing some in the middle. Uh, all right, so we're going to have Flash move over uh -oh. to the right-hand side here. Remember, one bad fight for State. Could still cost him the game. It could. Flash has got to drop inside the main base, putting the pressure on, but we're about to see the fight. EMPs are going to start on the high ground there. They EMP'd a couple of the High Templar. And the Vikings trying to get into position to deal with that. Storm goes down, but they do it doesn't catch anything. Catch yeah. kills off that High Templar with the Ghost Snipes. The only way that Flash can win this is just by absolute domination in the fights. Like, mustn't lose very much, must not get hit by storms, must kill the Colossus fast, and then maybe he can have an army that may not be stoppable. That's the only way to win this. And he still doesn't have that plus three weapons. He still does not have that on his bi on his bio army. So that is a big deal. That's a lot of damage, the extra that those Marines and Marauders could be dishing out here as the Zealots do get warped in at this natural location. There's not a whole lot of damage to be done at that position, actually, though. Uh, it's just kind of buying him extra time to get a bigger bank, uh, crew more bases maybe, as he moves through the middle of the map. State obviously wants to end this game soon, but how? He's trying to wear his opponent down with the Warp Prism. Does not want to take a bad fight, which would cost him the game like it did in game number one here, which is why he isn't trying to push the issue. Flash has a lot of ghosts. They have Cloak. Huh. There's a lot of Vikings. A lot of Vikings. I would say even more Vikings than he actually needs here. And actually, two Colossi? There's just a single Observer with his army at the moment in the middle of the map. So if that was to get sniped off, he Flash may get the fight he wants ah. to maybe win this game. It, it, like I said, it's, it has to come down to a very, very good cost-efficient fight from Flash. Because not only does he need a fight against the army that's present, but he also needs to fight against the remaxed army. Yeah. From double robotics facility, from 16 to 18 gateways. I guess that's kind of the importance of the higher Viking count, just so, you know, if you do end up killing off those Colossi very quickly, then you still have the ability to deal with extra Colossi that do come out. Uh, but still, they won't be doing that much during the fight, so it's, uh, it's up in the air right now as to whether or not this is going to go well for Flash. His army supply is at 141 against 126, so his army is certainly bigger. Those two Colossi might die off very, very quickly if he's not careful. The Stalkers cannot deal with that. Kills off the Mothership Core and oop, loses the Vite out Observers. Uh, he's got one Observer left and it does survive. For now. For now. For now. And he's going to go up to this northern position as well. There's no Nexus there. There's just cannons that he wants to kill. Oh, off. Storm, storm Core! We missed it! Oh. He could have stormed there. He definitely could have stormed there. Kills off the cannons with the bio and just completely shutting down this location. Right. Is State going to come for a surround here? It looks like he may be looking for it. He knows that Flash must exit from this north position. His army's not that big. Ah, th I mean, there's a lot of Zealots. Um, he has quite a few High Templar with them. Oh, a scan just misses the army, sees it briefly. And here we go, this is it. State's going to fight here, oh. he has to be. Vikings move forwards here. They could just go for those Colossi and do a lot of damage, but at the same time, he has to be careful about the storms. Does cloak up here with those, and lands a big storm on a lot of those stock, uh, the ghosts. But there's with no those observers. Zealots. Exactly, it, they died off. And now these ghosts are just having their way with this army. Yeah, and the Remax has to happen now. 19 Zealots get warped in. Uh -oh. EMPs and ghosts are going crazy. Observers are trying to get warped in here. And this is a little bit stressful here, as the observers still not to be seen. Oh, I saw a little bit of the army for a while as uh, the cloak was dissipating from some of those, but now making as many observers as possible. He had two coming out of each of those robos. He's going to be up to two here as he needs to find this army. He needs to save some of these units, oh, but he is there's a lot of, again. There's a lot of units here for state. There's yeah. a lot of, lot of units. He was at, the bank was just so good for him. I mean, Flash took a good fight, but was it good enough where the money didn't matter? because Flash is running out of resources. He's trying to establish a new base, and it looks like this game will go on for a little bit longer here. But that's a lot of Remax Zealots now. They have plus two shields as well. Double Colossus, lots and lots of Archons here. Yeah. Trying to spend that gas that he had banked up. But there's 20 ghosts. That's if they a, land yeah. EMPs across the army, that's going to render it relatively useless. It all depends on what's actually going to happen here as he does push forwards with those Archons. He actually doesn't have any chance to land any EMPs. Turns around, cloaks up, lands a lot of EMPs on those Archons. They're disintegrating, but the Zealots just charge forwards anyway. And they're doing a lot of damage to the Observers there. He can see all these ghosts. He blinks forwards. State knows he is on top of this game in game number two. GG. State ties it up. 1-1 one, one here against Flash takes a map away from Katie Ross to Flash. A long one, a long one, a long one indeed.
But now he goes into game number three, a bit of a smile, a bit of a smirk on his face, realizing that he just took a map. And to be honest, I don't think the smile is that I took a map. I think the smile is I believe I can beat him. Yeah. USA, man. USA. <laughs> I think State believes he can beat Flash in this next game. He was in a position to win map number one, threw it away, won map number two. It could have been a 2-0. It could have been a 2-0. And now he been. goes to game number three and definitely, definitely could be looking for a victory. And here's the winning moment of game number two here. This means a lot to State, and you can see it there. I, anybody, anybody going up against Flash, it means a lot to them if they're able to take victories, uh, you know, map victories alone, never mind series victories, where State is now in a position where he could. He was already in game yeah. number one in a position where he could. And remember that this, for Flash, is the easiest game of the group. Yes. Meant to be. Supposed to be, yeah. He's meant to, in his mind, win this game and then fight hard against Curious or DRG. The crowd is behind State now. He's just got one map away. It's going to be Young Su to fight out for the final, to find out who will make it to the winner's match. And State definitely can beat Flash here. Oh, yeah. This is, this no longer for me is kind of, uh, it's no longer Flash advantage. And it's not even any longer up in the air as to who wins this. For me, if State plays the same way he's been playing in these past two games, he, he definitely could win this. That is a, a big, big turnaround for how we came into the series initially. Uh, and now, Yonsu is our map. He's a state is requesting one minute just to compose himself. I'm kind of, un I'm understanding that. Well, Flash is in a bit of a difficult position. You know, not, not so good performances this year with triple round of 16s in the World Championship Series in Korea, round of 32 at DreamHack Bucharest and is tied up against State, who, as we can see now, is just preparing himself for this next game, if there was a sound issue or something. All right. We'll be getting into it momentarily. This could be history in the making. I think this would be a large upset here if State was to be able to beat Flash. I think he realized it himself as well. <laughs> he uh, seems pretty happy with his current position. Yeah, he's actually Not asked surprised. for a minute here just to compose himself yeah. before we do get ready for this next game. And I think anybody in the right mind after beating Flash there would ask for that minute. Yeah. Just to get the, get the nerves gone again, get that excitement gone, get the killer face back on, and prepare to battle with the legends. And I believe before we actually get into this game, uh, we're going to go to an interview with Red Eye. So let's see what he has to say. Yes, uh, thank you very much, guys. Yeah, we're just going to take a very quick break from the game itself. I've got... Uh, Todd sitting out here on the front. There's no room. It's a packed house. You guys have absolutely filled the house. It's fantastic to see. And uh, the American crowd chanting USA, USA. Not right now, though. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Who knows? It was coming. Um, you were cheering at the back. You actually, I saw you doing the USA chant. So what do you make of this game? It's a crazy one. You know, I'm really surprised. I didn't expect State to do this well against Flash. Uh, to be entirely honest with you, somebody asked me before the game, how do you think it's going to go? And I was like, not well for State. <laughs> and after watching the first game, I was like, wow, he's actually playing really well today. In the second game, he, he put up one hell of a game. He ended up taking it. And I, I was really surprised and uh, gladly surprised to see the, the way he's playing. And I, I'm starting to believe, actually. I think he might take it. Yeah, I think the, uh, I heard Apollo say the same thing. He almost thought this could have been a 2-0 to State. Would you agree with that? He, he thought what? Apollo thought it might have been a 2-0 already to State. To State? But Flash already won one game. Yeah, but Apollo felt like it could have been a 2-0. Uh, in the first game, there was, some, there was a point in which he was in a decent position, but it's always really hard to close the game against somebody like Flash. Like we saw now, there was a few times also on Whirlwind where State was in an okay position, but killing Flash is really, really hard. You're going to need 40 minutes and a lot of good moods moves, some good engagements, and uh, that's exactly what he had in the previous game. So 2-0, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it could have been possible, but uh, in the first game, he made a few mistakes too many. And uh, he, in, the la in, the, in the last game of this series, he's going to have to play his very, very best if he wants to be able to take it. And I, think, I really think he can take it, to be honest. All right, well, let's uh, get back to the commentary team and find out. And I'll let the Americans lynch the Swedes behind me. Thanks very much, Paul. All right, game number three between Flash and State. As I'm sure Flash didn't expect to really be in this position, 
especially after what we've seen unfold in games number one and two. Flash has looked up against the ropes, up against it. Can he come back here in game number three? Well, Flash doesn't look too happy with the situation he's in right now, does he? Not at As all. As we're about to begin map number three here. Who is going to go to the winner's match? And it really is all up for grabs now. State or Flash? This really, for a lot of people, shouldn't be a question. But it is. It really is. All right, Yonsu, game number three, now loading up between Flash and State, as we have Korea versus USA unfolding here for the final map in this best of three series. Will Stay be able to do it for USA? Or will Flash play it out for Korea? Spawning up to the top right, our Red Protoss, representing the USA, as well as Root Gaming. Give it up for State. And down to the bottom left-hand corner, our Blue Terran, representing KT Rolster, as well as Korea. Give it up for Flash. All right, so fresh game. Starting from the, the beginning here, both players. And Flash will want to clear his mind of everything that's happened in game one and game two and just play out a new, in his mind, just a complete new series. It's, it's a new Protoss player, whatever. From the get-go, no mistakes, no nothing, and see where it takes him. Because in his mind, I'm pretty sure he considers himself the favorite here. I think everybody does. Even though State has shown that he definitely can upset that. And I'm wondering, you know, what Flash actually just does here in these games. He's played out two long macro games, and uh, despite winning game number one, let's face it, his overall plan wasn't exactly working against State. Are there any differences that we could see from Flash here? Or does he just go into a big macro game again and yeah. try and make it work like that? I think he plays the same game again, because there's nothing that really stands out that Flash has done wrong. It's just small things. So if he eliminates those small things, then I definitely feel that he's going to be in a very comfortable position. He certainly could be. He and is and I think Stake, by the way, just plays exactly the same as game one, two, oh, yeah. and just goes <laughs> into game three. There's nothing that's really stood out either for him, apart from, as Todd said, small things. Maybe a few too many in game number one. But overall, his game plan is better. It's working. Oh, yeah, it certainly is. Uh, it's working out, uh, working wonders. Uh, and, you know, opening up with that Templar Archives uh, just to get Storm out that little bit quicker gives him that good defensive posture if something a bit more aggressive were to come earlier on. Uh, that being said, of course, you still need the strong control uh, to deal with those EMPs and spreading your high Templars if that were to come along as well. Uh, but for now, we just have the Reaper opening for Flash to keep an eye on what his opponent's up to on a small map like Yonsu. And just bear in mind that State plays in Challenger League in the World Championship Series in, in America, while Flash plays in Premier League three times in a row in Korea. It's a big difference between them. He's got round of 16 three times in a row in a very, very difficult league. Could have arguably gotten stronger and better results. Big difference between these two players. The Reaper now is going to enter the main base and is going to just see exactly the same opening as Game 1 and Game 2. Gateway expand into Hello. a second gas. And now Flash has decided to really mix this up. A oh, yeah. proxy factory on the other side of the map here. Here's this change. Now, I'm assuming that what this will be for is for proxy Widow Mines to just kind of like walk them in, or even if he goes for the Starport as I well. Think he, I think he may be looking to proxy the Starport here. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, uh, if he does go for the Proxy Starpot, is there anything like other than Widow Mines that could be an option here for Flash? The, obviously, the only other option is Hellions, but it should be Widow Mines here. He's a big detonation into the uh, into the mineral line. And now obviously, if he gets that detonation, then that's massive. Really, really big. That would do a lot of damage. State would be crippled in his economy. But if it doesn't work, then Flash would almost lose this game. It's a massive investment. There's no stim on the way. There's no regular play. Where's the extra barracks? He's thrown all his money into the factory starport and mines. And good control there to deny the Reaper from getting in again. So uh, obviously the Robo facility will have an observer on the way. It will be sent over the uh, map, the first one. But then State in the past couple of games has shown how many observers he's getting. He's getting like three or four very, very quickly. So there is an opportunity for him to push these Widow Mines away, I feel. 
I will find out if he can do it. The Reaper is going to go around into the main, have a look what's there. Sees a Robo and Forge. So the Robo's not being used at the moment, but seeing the Forge is a little bit like, ah, oh, maybe he's going to build a cannon here, but he hasn't in the other games, which may be one of the reasons that he's decided to go for this. But now State completely oblivious to what's going on. Mm, and, and look at this. Oh, this is really smart by Flash. Yeah, Marine's moving forward. Try and he, bait out the Photon Overcharge. He's going to... He's not. No, it's, it, it's, it, is, it is baiting out the Photon Overcharge, but it's more put State's attention on the natural. Ah, yes. Pull him away from the main and drop the Widow Mines in. If this works, Flash could get a lot of probe kills, which is the ultimate goal. The Marines need to pull the units away. Ooh. Right now, this has gone undetected. The Marines oh. have been spotted on the natural, but State, good reactions here. In the main and the natural. He knows that that's a big, big threat. One of the Widowmines uh -oh. will end up burning. Uh -oh. So will the second one. Force an overcharge. Oh, well. oh, oh, gets quite a few kills there. 11 kills in total there for Flash. And Flash gets what he wants. He uses the medivac to come heal his Marines. Unfortunately, that's getting picked off. He's got damage onto these Stalkers. And oh. Flash with a very strong move there. And because of an overcharge in the main, he doesn't have Widow a mine. The Widowmine tries to just walk into this. And oh, he has to be so careful. Oh, more probes. probes and Flash. Uh -oh. A strategic decision here. And the Stalker gets picked off by the Widowmine. The other one's down. The Mothership calls down. The oh. Stalker gets picked off. He has and left. State crumbles to this build. Crumbles to the strategy of Flash. GG. One decision to rule them all, and Flash does take the 2-1. Oh, it was close, it was close, but in the end, Flash does prevail. State played an absolutely blistering series, uh, and the emotions going through that man right now must be... That, oh, he knew he was so close. That's a slam the, 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 the fist on the desk moment. You go toe-to-toe -to -toe in Game 1 and Game 2, and by a switch-up from Flash, you just get sweeped to the side. Unfortunately for State, all his hard work is now just flushed, flushed away. And Flash moves on to the winner's match. State will have to fight in the loser's match, elimination match, against, it's going to be a difficult opponent. It's going to be Dong Rei Gu. Oh, wow. State must go up against Dong Rei Gu. He must win to stay in the tournament. But Flash moves on to play Curious in the winner's match. Oh, Flash versus Curious after... Uh, yeah, well, watch State, just yeah. watch State. He, he already knows at this point that it's over, and you can see it in his face. Flash just concentrating as just, ever. Just disappointment, just oh. disappointment. Just disappointment. Unfortunately there for State, a good effort, a very solid effort. Very. And for a lot of people, like Todd said, I'll quote Todd, I, I'm starting to believe, and I think thousands of people were starting to believe. I know he. We're starting to believe that he was this very close. close to beating yeah. Flash, very close to going on to the winner's match. But of course, it's Flash, the ultimate weapon, looking shaky in his first game of the Intellect Stream Masters here in New York. But he goes to the winner's match and will be playing oh. against Curious next. Flash versus Curious will be next on the main stage. It doesn't get any easier for him. Going up against Curious, a player that played so well during the Korean qualifiers, was yeah. able to defeat Innovation. Yeah. Wow. All right, guys, but before that, we go to an interview with the winner from that series, KT Rolsters Flash. Yes, thank you very much, James. Yeah, with Flash, congratulations. Uh, we got there in the end. Uh, I guess the first thing we ask is just how difficult a match was that for you? Uh, my opponent was a lot better than I thought, so it was a much more difficult match than I expected. Okay, uh, in the first, the first map that you played, very similar opening to the second map, did, did you play passively on purpose? Were you waiting to see what he did all the time, or had you studied him before the game? Uh, Okay, um, one more question. How nervous were you when you lost the second map? Were you, did you have any doubt in your mind and think that maybe you could lose this match? I thought that maybe I might lose, but I just also thought that if I just play the way I usually do, I can win. 
All right, well, congratulations. We'll let you go. Well done, Flash. Ladies and gentlemen, winner of our first game. He's gone. <laughs> so that, that's it. God, God doesn't wait around for anyone. Uh, we're not going to wait around for anyone either. We're going to catch up with Todd now, who's going to break down the game and show us exactly how God managed to win match number one.